is up, you far out interdimensional beings? Thank you for being here. Boy, I just went through a whole bunch of um, editing here in the back office. Um, just getting my mic together. Everything was all wonky. And it's crazy. So um, I am here to tell you where I've been and what I've been doing. So honestly, um, I've just been taking a break, um, getting my mind straight and dealing some personal things in life. But also uh, a lot of my time has been spent on GameStop, nft.gamestop.com. Uh, I'm a huge crayon sniffing ape, if you haven't gathered that yet uh, from my Twitter. Um, but I am much more than just someone who uh, DRSs my shares. So let me go into it. Um, I think GameStop is going to be the next Amazon and just call it right now. Um, but I think that it is uh, well on its way to being a absolute powerhouse for web three and blockchain gaming um and i have the theories to go into why and all of the reddit posts that led up to this all of the theories that were theorized on the the subreddit you know pretty much a lot of them came true so i am actually going to show you some pretty crazy stuff right now um about GameStop and why it's about to take over the NFT space and Web3 and everything else, really. So GameStop is the first of its kind to do uh, what they've done on this scale. Uh, so with, you, I don't know if you've ever heard of Vive, but I know Vive did uh, collectibles uh, licensed collectibles and that's essentially what GameStop's getting into right now but on a much grander scale and they're able to do it because they're a publicly traded company uh, and I think they're able to just achieve more so I think that they're going to be an absolute powerhouse with this um, and some of the the connections uh, between Immutable X and all of the other uh, players in the Web3 space may lead Vive to, to partner with GameStop. GameStop has a ton of partners uh, that they're just really trying to get in and, and evolve this space quickly during the bear market, which is why I am presenting it and why I think it's so important to get in on this now. So I'm gonna do what I can and I'm gonna try and maybe even post, maybe my, my updates are just, you know, GameStop NFTs and stuff because I really have been following this along and I'll show you what I have uh, come up with because almost everything I'm about to show you, I was there on day one and I was there on day one of these, these mints. So um, stay tuned, here we go. So this is the GameStop homepage, okay? Now, if you look at this astronaut, I'm going to show you a little conspiracy theory here. Uh, so th this astronaut was created by Cyber Crew, which was one of the first metaverse asset NFTs launched on the GameStop marketplace. Um, actually, just one of the first NFTs on the marketplace in general. Uh, but this is who created this for GameStop. So they had a partnership already. And this is just the marketplace you go through. They have a, a nice discovery feature for themselves. Um, but here's here's what they have uh, right right below uh, their featured collections is Immutable X is coming soon. Illuvium, Gobs and Chain, Gilded Guardians, Planet Quest, Ember Sword, Wagme Games. These are the top players in blockchain gaming. Illuvium has land. Gods Unchained is like Magic the Gathering, but with NFTs. And Planet Quest and Ember Sword, Wagme Games, and Guild of Guardians. You just have to, you know, see for yourself. There are RPGs and just different types of games. That is one of their best partnerships right now. Is that they were in the NFT space and then they went to the um, blockchain gaming aspect of it. And I'm so excited to see what they have for Web three. Um, so one of the the key features of GameStop Marketplace is that they have their own wallet. Uh, you can come over here and hit connect and install the GameStop wallet uh, and use a MetaMask as well. Um, but 
the GameStop wallet is pretty legit. Uh, I would definitely uh, encourage you to use that if you are new to NFTs and wallets, digital wallets. So, um, so far, we have discovered the GameStop marketplace and why it's revolutionary because it's going to um, be the centerfold for blockchain games, Web3, and NFTs. I think, personally, it is the best NFT marketplace, and I've pulled up OpenSea to explain why. So, OpenSea is really one of the uh, I would call it now the second best NFT marketplace is out there. Reason being is just everything is out there. Um, they do have a, a, a few collectibles, I think, here and there, uh, licensed collectibles here and there, but a lot of trading cards, a lot of utility, virtual worlds, domain names. I mean, everything is on OpenSea. You can connect your MetaMask and go from there. So really, they do have something good going for them because they were the first, and um, they just have it down right but the thing is is that you can get on OpenSea and create right now see this uh, little button up here create so the only downside to that is anyone can go on there and just create something you create uh, add your MetaMask and you're minting NFTs right off the rip so uh, what happens is that um, so for instance somebody can come and just make a whole new um, they can essentially copy these NFTs, uh, and especially this, uh, where they're they're whitelisted and they they haven't um, been unboxed. I call it. Uh, so when they do this, uh, you can just come in, make one of these, and replicate the NFTs really easily, um, just with a separate account. And it's it, it, it leaves you susceptible to scams. Okay, so. People that are in the NFT space already, this is great. OpenSea is awesome. Uh, a lot of people love it. But when you're new to NFTs and you're already, you've already been shopping at GameStop for friends and family members and all this stuff, they're a publicly traded company, and now you hear GameStop has NFTs, you're like, oh, wow, maybe I should pay attention to this. And I feel like this is just going to pave the way for mass adoption with NFTs. This is just a, a an introductory way to see it's not an introductory way to get into nfts because it's going to have so much more than just jpegs you know it has real value in what they have on their marketplace they don't necessarily have land just yet but i know they're going to get into it um but they have um nft or i'm sorry they have metaverse assets and what i mean by that is we'll go on over to cyber crew so these are the Cyber Crew NFTs that are available right now. Uh, I, I just know the ones. Uh, so for instance, these two right here are art pieces. And by holding these, you can get airdrops uh, into your wallet. And I'll, I'll maybe go into that a, a bit later or in a new video. Um, but basically, this one we want to focus on right here. It's called the Cyber Clone. And Cyberclone is great because you can take this skin, the skin inside here, that's the, the Cyberclone skin, and you can upload it essentially or attach it to Metaverse games. And at, at first you go, okay, well, that isn't explained very well. And how does that even work? Are there any games? Well, uh, you know, two or three months ago when this first launched, no, there, were, there weren't any games. Um, but now there are, and they're pretty freaking exciting. I'm going to do a whole nother video on that, uh, but I will let you know in this video um, what that is. But it is called Kiraverse, and Kiraverse is basically uh, Fortnite meets blockchain gaming, and you can upload we'll call it upload for now you can upload your cyber clone skin into that and use your cyber clone skin to play in the kiraverse uh this is not a theorized thing this is not something that is anticipated this is something that is happening right now they are in closed alpha but i was in the discord the other day and the closed alpha um the people who were holding cyber clones in the cyber crew discord got access to the alpha closed alpha uh for kiraverse so um there's actually already 
uh, content on YouTube that shows uh, what happened uh, during that closed alpha access. Cyber Crew is a, I'm gonna call it company that just creates wonderful NFTs that have real utility behind them. You can use all of these in the metaverse. Uh, in any metaverse that comes about, you you should be able, any metaverse that is compatible with it, you're going to be able to use um, all of the actual um, skins, guns, weapons, cyber cycle, uh, the clone card means you can create your own skin later on. Um, and this is just a real, real implementation of NFTs. Before, NFTs had no value. They were just JPEGs. And now... They are something that is you buy, you own, you can even rent them out. And I will get into that in a bit. Um, so we're going to go to the next one that I want to talk about is Boop and Friends. I'm not sitting here supporting this or condoning this really. Um, but this is um, Betty Boop NFTs. Uh, a lot of these are pretty expensive. I don't know what's to come. I didn't hop in this Discord. I don't know much about this, but I do know that these are licensed NFTs. This is not just someone making this up and um, you know infringing on somebody's um, material. This is actual licensed uh, Betty Boop NFTs. And that's what I wanted to point out. That's the good part about this is that we're getting into licensed NFTs. We're no longer just somebody making pixel art and selling it online, which I do want to do, um, not pixel art in general, but I do want to sell my art online as NFTs. Uh, so go check me out at faroutdimensions.com. Um, and that is what we're getting into is licensing NFTs or licensed NFTs. And that is um, where the future is going. So the next one on top of that uh, is Gmerica, which is GameStop's NFTs. These are their, their pixel uh, art, we'll call them videos. Um, now, here we get into some crazy stuff. Let me talk to you about these NFTs. I'm sorry this video is going to be pretty long, um, but uh, well worth it in my opinion. Uh, I'll try to do a bunch of them, but here's some cool things I found. So GameStop, uh, they took off all mentions of any sort of stocks on the platform the nft uh marketplace platform and um i think that is a good thing uh because what they did was they did their own thing i'm pretty sure they just talked to their lawyers and figured out what they could and could not put on but here you've got the t minus zero zero and the rocket ship that says gamestop uh and obviously that is the most um expensive one and here is something also that you're getting into we're getting into nft law now uh where it says for personal non-commercial use only so owning your nft does mean you own it but for personal use doesn't mean that you can you know when you bought a song on itunes it doesn't mean that you could use it um all over the internet all willy-nilly same with these nfts for now um i actually have nfts that do come with commercial license use licenses um, I'll get into that uh, on my own little little thing. Uh, but the next one um, is uh, the GameStop Hollywood. You could just see uh, a little bit of a, of a tower back there. It looks like a rocket ship or a, a, you know something to do with rockets, uh, hot air balloon. But the one okay this one as well has a little uh easter egg in it i think so here's gamestop down here um but uh the rocket blast out of the clouds um and that one's pretty cool as well uh this one though is my favorite so it's super funny because when the die is on 20 so when the die, this die, get on get on nft.gamestop.com, go look this up for yourself. It's Seattle under G America. Uh, the die is on 20, and the players are over the moon. I thought that was hilarious. All right, so if you know, you know. Here's the GameStop. Uh, first round of NFTs, they did very, very well. 719 uh, ETH, which is a pretty wild number for GameStop. The second thing that GameStop came out with is Game Informer. They're now making Game Informer NFTs. 
Um, and this is this is getting pretty wild. So the NFT world is crazy. Maybe I'll do a whole nother thing on this because this launch, the mint price was $55. And this is probably the most rare one. Like if you know what you're looking at, I mean, obviously this one, this one only has like, a, this one only has 100 uh, available. So yes, that is going to be the rarest one just based on scarcity. But um, cyber crew is definitely the most sought after thing on the marketplace. And anyone will be willing to read about that in Game Informer because uh, cyber crew is going to be blowing up in the gaming industry in the next uh, one to three years. Um, and I don't really know much about these people. Um, I haven't taken the time to look into them and they've still got a bunch for sale. So those ones didn't do too well. Um, yeah, so they only sold like 200 of these because people were like, who is this, you know, kind of thing. So that, that one's pretty interesting um, to see how they, they launched that. It didn't go as well as they planned, but over time, the GameStop uh, ones will do pretty well. Or I'm sorry, the Game Informer ones will do pretty well. The other thing I just want to scroll through is Metaboy. Uh, I'm not going to go into all of the the greatness of Metaboy. Uh, I'm, I'm indifferent on it. I have one. Um, but you can use Metaboy, your Metaboy skin, in the Kiraverse. So I just want to bring that up, slide that into this video, and I'll try to slide it into the Kiraverse video as well. Um, but I thought that this pixel art would never be anything more than just a collector's item. But now it is actually have um, it actually has some utility in the metaverse. So that's going to be pretty cool. Wow, that one's pretty cool. That one's cool. Uh, it's only one point three million dollars. So, but uh, that is a cool one. So the next one we're going to talk about is getting back into my conspiracy theories. How I already told you. The G America one with the players over the moon when the dies on twenty. Uh, so we're over here at Eva and Nate. Okay, so Eva and Nate are not part. I hope you're listening to this. They are not part of the Genesis uh, collection of the Kiraverse uh, NFTs, but these are the very first NFTs released by Perrin Labs. Uh, and the, this is the airdrop. So by holding the um, Eva and Nate, so you had Eva and Nate in your wallet, they took a snapshot that you owned that, and then they airdropped you the vessel uh, once um, that airdrop was available. So that is how airdrops work on the GameStop marketplace, on all the marketplaces really. Um, but they already gave you an airdrop within the first two weeks of owning this. Um, and the thing is, is they partnered with GameStop to make these Eva and Nate skins, uh, and they're not part of their Genesis collection, but they are the very first two. So what, it, what what's to say of Eva and Nate who are pre Genesis collection, uh, for the Kiraverse? Um, who knows? Pretty crazy. They are, they did, um, shoot up. Uh, they, they minted at two hundred dollars, so they are two fifty six and two eighty three now. Um, so they did uh, increase in price just over the last couple weeks. So now I hope you're ready for this. You ready for this? All right. Let's see if I could do this. <clears throat> so take a look at this NFT. By the way, this is like the Cyberclone skin. I just wanted to compare those two. The Cyberclone skin and the Eva and Nate uh, should be the same uh, metaverse asset. So now take a look at this and take a look at this. Take a look at this and take a look at this. So I told you in the very beginning of this video that this was a cyber crew creation. Okay, cyber crew created this. Uh, if anyone is out there and they think I am wrong, drop it in the comments below and tell me how I'm wrong. But I'm almost certain that I'm not um, because I was around when this launched and they were talking about how cyber crew created the astronaut. Uh, so crazy stuff here it is different <clears throat> if you look here and around the neck and whatnot 
uh, that stuff is different. So if you you look, you know, you don't have the that same. The hoses aren't the exact same. Uh, here is a bit different, and uh, those those thicker hoses come from the back of the helmet, um, which that doesn't happen here. Okay, but the face shield is closed. It has a red neon ring around the helmet and it says GameStop on the chest, okay? GameStop on the chest and the red neon around the helmet and they even have the little circle and the little circle is here. So this to me looks like the first NFT metaverse skin that was the astronaut featured on the GameStop homepage. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. Call me a conspiracy conspiracy theorist. So we'll figure that out. But that is GameStop NFT marketplace. I believe in it so much. Um, the truth requires no belief, though. So we'll just wait and see. Um, and this is really going to take off. This is the center of blockchain gaming. Uh, they have just partnered with a lot of um, credible companies uh, in the blockchain gaming and Web3 space. And the thing is, is that the partnerships have partnerships, you know? So they partner with Immutable X. Um, and Immutable X, I believe, has the Kiraverse in their, their chain. And... Kiraverse partnered with CyberCrew, you know, but CyberCrew partnered with GameStop. So it's like this massive loop of all these like uh, partner, just synergistic partnerships. And it is, it is just so exciting to be a part of this at the very ground floor. Um, yeah. All right. That's it. Peace.